Octo Raider Octopod, incoming Octo Report. Octo Agents, please report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Octo Report. Deshi reporting. Antarctic water. Antarctic ice completely covers the ground. It's thick and normally it's frozen year round. And since there's little rain but plenty of cold, that ice is likely several million years old. So when you see a lake or a river appear, you have to ask yourself what is happening here. It's still not raining but as temperatures soar, the ice is melting now like never before. Yeah! Check it out! Antarctic water! The mission is done, now agents prepare to follow the call to adventure anywhere! Honey, meet Professor Natquick. Hello, hello! Pleasure to meet you! Splashing to see you, Professor Natquick. Speaking of splashing, do you hear that? I know that sound anywhere. Liquid water. But where is it coming from? I don't know. But let's go and find it. I'm tracking the sound. We should be getting close. There! Look! Click, click! Professor, I believe we have identified the source of your rushing water sound. Yes, yes. So much water. Something wrong, Professor? All this water could mean the ice in Antarctica is melting faster because the Earth is getting warmer. Yes, that river could have been formed by a melting glacier. I'll need to take samples from the lake down there and find out. I need to follow the water from above to see where it's coming from. No reason we can't do both. Remember, Pani, be careful. The icy winds of Antarctica can be dangerous. <laughs> Salty, so it's definitely not seawater. Whoa! <gasps> Professor Natwick was right. These winds are serious business. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A skewer? But those are seabirds. What's this one doing so far inland? Help! Yeah, yeah. Help me! Fly to me! <laughs> I'll try and catch you. <laughs> My name's Barney. Ah, uh, oh, well, my name's Boda. Uh, thanks for pulling me out of the water. <laughs> oh, uh, did I find the ocean? Afraid not, my fine feathered friend. We're miles and miles inland, a long way from the ocean. Ah, uh, these winds must have blown me way off course. We skiers normally stay close to the ocean, where we can find food. No food here, or anything really. And this isn't ocean water. We think this lake was formed from a melting glacier. Uh, I've got to get back to the ocean to find food, but my wings too hurt to fly. Don't worry, Boda. I'll get you back to the ocean. But first, we should get to shore. Ah, uh, Pony, old chap. Shore is that way. As a water expert, I've learned that sometimes you just have to go with the flow. Uh, what's that? That tells me that the ground is cracking open. And what is that? That's the crack I was talking about. Ah! See? Isn't it amazing? Oh, 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 gotta go. Oh, wait. It's dangerous. Whoa. Uh oh, things are getting a little too rocky now. Octo Agent Pawnee, report, please. Octonauts! Oh. Arnie, are you all right? Perfectly fine. But I'm up here in the Colorado Rocky Mountains and the water under the ground is freezing. <sighs> and that means trouble. What kind of trouble? Take a look at this. There's actually a lot of water under the ground. That's because when the snow on the mountains melts, it turns into water. Ah, yes. 
and then it drips into small cracks in the ground. At night, when the sun goes down, it gets cold, so the water freezes again, turning into ice. That's right. It's called the freeze-thaw cycle. It's pretty normal up here, but sometimes the freezing ice makes the cracks in the ground get bigger, which, as you can see, makes the ground split open. And loose rocks start to slide down the mountain. Pawnee, you need to be careful out there. Oh, I'm fine. It's the mountain creatures I'm worried about. Looks like there are pikers, dormice and martens in the area. We'd better make sure they don't get hurt by falling rocks. Tweak, is your new project ready? It's ready, Cap. Very good. Dashy, Tweak, to the Octoray. Octonauts, let's do this. Approaching Pani's location. Oh, the Octoray, over here. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Dashy. Oh, what is that? That's not normal. Whoa! Hello, Barney. Hope we didn't scare you. What in the watery world is that? It's the new Terra Gup 2. Tweak just built it. I based the design on a giant pangolin. Armored body, digging claws on the front legs, and, as you saw, <laughs> it can roll up into a ball. Let's hope it can handle these rock slides. We better hurry and make sure no creatures get hurt out there. Uh, Barney? No time to waste. We'll cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> he does that kind of thing a lot. Hello. I don't suppose you're in trouble, are you? You mean, apart from dangling off a ledge? Uh, no, I don't think so. I've got you, matey. Oh, sweet. That was a close one. Ah, there you are. As I was saying, cave wetters are likely to jump out to anyone who surprises them. Yes, all right. We're kind of the jump first and ask questions later type of wetter. No worries, me hearty. That's the pirate way, too. All right. Back into the dark for me. So long. Well, looks like we just went on one big wild wetter chase. All the wetters we found seemed okay to me. But that bird definitely told me he saw a wetter in trouble. Wait, what did that bird look like? Um, let me think. Uh, pink legs, uh, black wings, and a thin bill. The black wing stilt! That's the one! And they only live in an area near Lake Tasman. Which means... We've got to go right back to where we started! That wetter has got to be around here somewhere. We're going to have to split up! Good idea, matey! Come on, wetter. Where are you? down. Um, my ears are up here. Weird. Mine are in my legs. Really? That's splashing. Are you in trouble by any chance? Well, someone wants to eat me for dinner, so I guess that would be a yes. Who would want to eat a wetter? Uh, you know us rats. We'll eat absolutely anything. <gasps> rats! <laughs> Hang on tight! <laughs> Quasi, Shellington, I found our wetter. Ran into a bit of a rat problem. Oh no, we're trapped! <laughs> this is probably not a good time to tell you I'm a terrible swimmer. Look at this. Two for the price of one. You can make the jump? Not really, mate. Giant wetters are also terrible jumpers. Other wetters are good at jumping, but not us. We're just too heavy. Then I'll jump for us. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mate. You saved the day. Although we are on a melting iceberg in the middle of a lake, and unlike giant wetters, rats are really good swimmers. It wet is mine. Hey, no, come on, I saw it first. <laughs> Been nice knowing you. Ahoy there, mateys! Fancy 
fancy a Pawnee Patty, anyone? They're nice and crunchy. Oh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Never leave a matey behind. That's the pirate way. <laughs> to the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond. <laughs>